Hi, this is Stacia, and I wanted to share a tactics puzzle with you. Um, this is a pretty cool one. It's white to move and win, and if you'd like to pause your video, go ahead and do so now. Okay, um, so this is actually number 26 in my tactics flashcard set that I, that I created. <laughs> and it's also, um, the source is actually... Um, from Build Up Your Chess uh, by Grandmaster Artur Yusupov. Now this is not a problem that I solved the first time through, so um, so if you were able to do this, then kudos to you. Um, you're already doing better than myself. <laughs> but I think this is a really interesting um, idea and pattern to learn here. So let's get started. Um, so it's way to move, and the first thing we should do is look for our candidate moves. And so that is going to especially focus on checks, captures, and tempo moves. So let's have a look. Um, we definitely have rookie eight check. We have knight h6 check. And we have knight e7 check. So these should all be moves that you consider. Um, rookie eight check looks like it almost mates the king. It forces knight f8. So that's definitely one that we'll want to look closer at. Um, knight e7 check, that looks like it's mostly just going to result in trades. Um, yeah, I don't know. Knight here, knight takes. It actually looks like we just lose the knight. We take the queen, pawn takes back. Yeah, it looks like we just lose the knight. So I don't think knight e7 check needs any further consideration unless we can't, unless we don't find anything better. And knight a6 check. Um, so this one, um, perhaps you noticed that this is pretty interesting because black cannot take with a pawn or they drop their queen. So knight h6 check also um, deserves some consideration. So let's have a look at that one. So knight, knight h6 check to start. How can black deal with this? Well, if they cannot take with a pawn, then they pretty much need to move their king. Um, king h8 would just result in checkmate because even if the knight blocks, we that's checkmate. So it's really king f8. And you know, here I don't see anything spectacular for us anymore. If we try to mate them on the square, like if we go queen here, I think rookie seven is pretty embarrassing. <laughs> um, because our knight's gonna hang at the end, and okay. So, um, it looks like we're running into a wall after king of eight. Okay, so we're going to go back and look at our other uh, candidate move. We rolled out knight e7, and knight h6 looks like it doesn't work so well. So let's have a closer look at this one now. Rook e8 check, and this does force knight f8. This is the only move. And now um, we have other candidate moves to consider from here. So, I mean, knight e7 check, knight h6 check, still there. We have queen takes queen, and we now we have this move, rook takes uh, knight, check. So, um, so maybe we can look at that. So this does force the king to f8. And the interesting thing here is that, wow, um, this queen is in the way, but if we could play queen to d8 check. That's actually checkmate. <laughs> so um, it would be great if this queen could be distracted. And so when we're considering our moves, we should be thinking, how can we distract this queen? Because once she's gone out of the way, we can play rook takes knight. Well, when we look at our other checks, knight e7 check again doesn't look... Uh, Awesome. It looks okay. It looks interesting. But this move, check. Now, if they were to move their king, that would be awesome. We'll just mate them. But they don't have to do that. They can uh, play this, for example. Um, and now our queen's hanging, so I guess we have to take. I, I'm not really sure. And black could probably just... Black could even play this, maybe. Take the rook. And after the queen retreats, I think this position is unclear. It looks kind of equalish. So let's see if we can find something better than that. 
So after knight f8, we also have this check. And um, yeah, and this is interesting, right? Because black doesn't have good ways to deal with this. If they take with the pawn, we win the queen. If they move their king, they get checkmated. So there's really only one other way to deal with this, and that's for the queen to take the knight. But now uh, that distraction that we wanted actually works because we'll play check, king, and checkmate. And this is the solution because there's no other moves uh, for black after knight h6 check. So let's look at it from the beginning just to review. So these are our main candidate moves, rook e8 check and the two knight moves. So we play. Knight f8 is forced. Now the knight is pinned. Our queen is hanging, by the way, <laughs> so everything has to be forcing. And now we play this knight h6 uh, check move, which is really cool. So black only has three ways to deal with it, and they all lose. King moving over leads to checkmate. Pawn takes, they lose their queen. That's losing. And then the best move is queen takes knight, but after rook takes check king here queen d8 is checkmate so i know i kind of went in depth on explaining this one but i i'm hoping that's useful because that's something i want to do is more fully understand these puzzles and all the candidate moves involved so um i know i probably could have gone even more in depth we didn't even look at like captures and threats very closely um but um, yeah, let me know if the, in the comments if that's helpful at all because um, I want to improve as a player and I just feel like understanding these thoroughly is a good way to go. So um, yeah, thanks for watching if you did and have a great day.